XP Flow Field has been updated to be faster, more efficient, with a new user interface and powerful new layering system. In this scene we have the stream of blue particles. Let's set up a flow field particle flow now using the fantastic new layering system. First of all we want them to follow the path of this spline, this helix. So let's add a, a long spline flow. Each layer gets its own layer options for blend mode, for strength and fall off. Let's drag in the helix spline into our along spline objects window and straight away we can see our flow working and the new flow field trails display beautifully illustrate the direction of that flow. Let's add some more random behavior to this though. So we'll add a new layer. Let's add a random. In the layer options, let's change the blend mode from normal to add. We'll reduce that strength. And now we have the particles both respecting the along spline flow, but also with a bit of random movement as well. Let's make this look even more organic. We will add some animated randomness. So let's get a new layer. We'll add a curl. Again, we'll set its blend mode to add. Let's reduce the strength and we'll increase the scale of that noise and increase the frequency at which it animates. And now we can see this beautifully organic looking particle flow, which is respecting the spline path we've asked it to follow. This remains editable at all times. So fantastic for precise art direction. In this scene, let's set up a surface tangent flow for this hand model. We'll go to our flow field. We'll go to the add layer and we will choose one of the original flow types, surface tangent. Let's drag in our hand model to the object's window and now the particles are moving along those surface tangents of the hand object. We'll add some nice random animated animation to this, this time not with a flow but we'll do it with an X particles modifier. Let's activate this XP turbulence and there is our animated movement. Now let's choose a new flow type as an additional layer to give us a global directional control on this. So we'll go to add layer and let's add a fields flow. We'll check that. And in the fields option, let's change the blend mode to add and we will choose a linear field. And now we have this global directional force which is blending with our surface tangent flow and our XP turbulence. And if we go to our linear field, we can of course rotate it and send that global direction in any way we choose. Faster Calculating number four, a brand new user interface, an amazing new layering system and powerful new display options. The newly updated XP flow field.